Hi Stampers, this is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm pleased to show you how to make this quilting, these quilting patterns with just a small piece of designer series paper. The same uh, technique, I guess, it works the same for both cards. For our club members, and I will also be putting this template on my website because this is very helpful. These are actual sizes of what your card will need. So this will be our cutting pattern. This is our layout for this quilt. This is our layout for this quilt. So let's get started. I'll keep this handy because it, I'll show you how I use it. Okay. So the first step is getting our stuff out. And I'll show you the technique first, and then I'll show you how to put it together. So we're going to need, get this so you can see better, a four white pieces that are one and a quarter by one and a, no, one and a half, wait, one and a half, yeah, one and a half by one and a half. And you need two pieces of designer paper that have nice backing. This one is from the Country in collection or countryside in um, and two pieces that are one and a half by one and a half you'll also need a piece of white one or three by three I'll put that there okay so we'll take our little pieces I'm doing two at once you can you can do one at a time or two at once I'm just taking my paper snips cutting them on an angle from corner to corner. You can use your uh, paper cutter, but this is, because it's so small, it's easier just to cut it. All right, we'll take these two strips left over. We're going to cut these in half, and then we're going to turn it again and cut this in half again. So you have all these little pieces. And now we're going to do, we have one little piece like this, cut that one in half. So you end up with eight little, little pieces just for this one. Now the other piece, again we're going to cut it in half this way, up the center to the corner. Turn it up the center to the corners. And then the piece here. Same thing, up the center to the peak of like that. Okay, now we have all the pieces that we need for our design. So again, I'm bringing back the template. Hopefully you can print it out uh, on the computer. Otherwise, again, our club members get this. So these basically are all the eight pieces. So. I'm just showing you that they all just fit in this little square here and that's basically what they are. So I think we will make the star, the star, um, the star one, this one, the star card. It uses fewer pieces, you'll have a couple left over but that's okay. But these are again are done in the same way. So for explanation there's a dark and a, and a lighter color on the template and because your pieces are two-sided you have a dark and a light so the dark piece I'll just show you on this one first will you lay them on top and this will give you a good visual of how or how these are going to be laid out and then this one is a dark one and this one is a light one. So this one looks sort of like a little pinwheel. You can kind of see it. And then this is the one we're going to be making the actual card today. But the same, the, this is for this one, this is for this one. So we'll take those off so you don't get confused. Now for this piece, we have our darks. And I, get, I got a little spatial... Uh, weird spatial things when I was putting this together so that's why this is so helpful. So then you put the two darks on and then the light one goes in this direction like so. 
So we'll be, we'll be taking our little pieces like this, and I'll just do one, and then speed it up, and show you how the others go. Well, they all go the same way. All right, but I'll show you one. What again worked easiest for me? So I'm going to take. Doesn't matter which piece you start with. I'm taking this off, putting adhesive on it, making sure it goes the same direction as our template, like so. This piece here, I'm just bringing it over here so it goes the same way. Oops, this one's crooked. Maybe it's not, I don't know. It is. <laughs> okay, so this one, if they're crooked, because the adhesive, if you, if you use tape, it seems to be fine because you can just lift it up and move it again. Okay, so now we have this piece and this piece. Now we need to attach this one. Turn it over. And again, I want it to go in this direction, so I'm putting it just like that. So that's how, how you can compare to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Now I'm going to do the next three pieces so you can see how it goes. Okay, I'm back. I had I actually had issues with some of these. I put them the wrong direction. So you have to really make sure that they're all exactly the same. So I have all four completed. Now I'm taking my 3 by 3 inch piece and we will be attaching these in this it will match this direction. So I'm taking my first one. It'll you can see the pattern is the same. This the lighter one will go to the center. Put that one on. And if they're not perfect, it's okay when you quilt it, it or put it through the embossing folder. It really kind of gets rid of some of the boo-boos. Now this piece will be down here and again you can match it up. So you can see if I just brought it down the way it was, this piece needs to go this way. So I'm going to put, it will go on like so, to match the pattern. And I hope you find the pattern helpful. It did for me and I still need to use it. <laughs> I've done a bunch of these already. Okay, this one. So this point goes to the center. And you'll know you're doing it correctly if because it seems kind of, I mean, unless you're a quilter, it seems awkward the way that it's going on. But a good way to know if you're doing it right to make sure that these dark ones are all the same pattern. The last one now. Again, the point to the center, like so. And now we have our design. You will have a couple pieces left over for this design, but not for this one. And this one's way crooked. Again, tape is good because then you can remove them easily till it till it uh, cures. There. So now we have our design. A couple pieces left over. You can discard them or use them for another project. And now we will put it through the machine because we wanted to quilt this. So you can't quilt it ahead of time because that's just not the way it works. So I have my machine and I'm using the any embossing folder will work but I'm using this trio. This is from the trio of the online exclusives and there's a nice crosshatch pattern bubbles and this star kind of shape pattern. So we're using the star shape. We put our piece in there. You want it straight so the pattern looks nice. Put it down. Make sure that you have your... Uh, do not put it in like this. Make sure it's covered with another embossing folder. This one got uh, bent because somebody did it that. I'm putting this on a slight angle, then it won't pop. Putting our other tape, this could be the blue one as well. Oops, I did it backwards. <laughs> and now we will run it through. All right, I'm turn it around. Okay. Sometimes on camera things are a little more 
difficult. All right, now we have our piece embossed, and it looks really cool. See how it makes it look a little more perfect, and now it's all embossed, and it looks like a real quilt. Now, now we will just assemble it and hang tight here. So I have some other pieces. All the dimensions will be on the card. Uh, regular card base. This piece is three and a quarter, and this is going on this one. The embossing shouldn't be marred by the. Or you you don't necessarily need glue. Let's put it that way. It's pretty good adhesion. Okay, then I did another piece that is three and a, three quarters by three and three quarters, and I did emboss it with the same folder. I did that ahead of time. So we'll put that on. You want to make sure that your impression is the same as what you put your other one on. And that goes on to the navy. That's four by four. Put this piece on top of those. Like so. And then this all goes onto your card. Oops. And it can go in any direction because it should be symmetrical. Like so. Now the fun part of this card is the sewing machine and then this little piece of fabric coming out of the sewing machine. I use the Crafting With You bundle and I use the sewing machine here and then the, there's a die for that that is right here. I've already stamped it. And there's a nice sentiment in there that says handmade with a hug. I punch this out of the oval punch. So we'll put that on first. That just goes on flat. Over here. And then our sewing machine. I'm taking a piece that is here. Okay, it's just like a half inch piece by, I don't know, one and, th one and a half. It's just a leftover piece. So what I'm doing is cutting this on a slight angle. and taking my adhesive, putting it on by the needle, kind of centering it just because it looks cool. And now we will use our dimensionals to pop it up on the card. And I just have some black ones, so we'll just use that. So we pop these on. Kind of excessive with the big ones, but it's <laughs> all I grabbed. And we'll put one on the bottom, but toward the top of it. Let's see, there's a little... Yeah, I'm going to cut this one. So you use the whole piece of the dimensional. Some people I've seen throw them away, and it's like, no. All right. Take the liners off. And then when you put this on your card... When you put this on your card, you put it up a little bit onto the other portion of it, and then you have this leftover on the bottom, and that you just trim off. This won't fit in the envelope. So that's how you get this little piece of fabric on there. On the inside, I just put a three little hearts that are in the crafting stamp set. They're just teensy weensy little hearts. You could put flowers, whatever you'd like. And that's it for this card. So I hope you can figure these out as you go along. Uh, feel free to, I can answer any questions somehow, either email me or I co hope that you get the template working and uh, in, I hope you enjoy making them. Any colors work well, but this paper worked perfectly for it. So thanks for watching and